This is Faith on Trial on Star FM, exploring matters of faith and issues within the church. Indeed, it is time for Faith on Trial. And as usual, we love it when you are part of the Faith on Trial group where you can send in your suggestion for topics. You can throw in there some comments and things of that nature. We have the Faith on Trial WhatsApp group right now on our WhatsApp description. That's the Star FM WhatsApp description. Click and join the group. So what's interesting about this group is you have an opportunity to request a song for us to start the show with. And uh, today we start a faith on trial uh, with uh, Titunga Mire uh, by Gemma. This was requested by Hillary from Epworth. Well, that's the way you want to start faith on trial with uh, Gemma Titunga Mire. So shout out to Hillary uh, from Epworth. Uh, he's the one who threw this one into the group. So if you want to be part of the group, uh, then make sure that um, uh, you click the link in the description and you can be part of faith on trial. This is faith on trial. Faith on Trial on Star FM. What's up? On 0772-162-651. Call in on 0772-162-651 or 0714-414-413. Uh, good evening and welcome into uh, the latest edition of uh, Faith on Trial uh, where uh, we are uh, going to be exploring matters of faith and issues uh, within uh, the church and uh, tonight on Faith on Trial we're talking about the monotheistic God. Uh, do all religions worship uh, the same God? Is there a universal God or is uh, the concept of God unique uh, to specific religions? I'm your host tonight, uh, E.T. and um, I've got uh, quite a lot of um, voices on the show today and I'm delighted uh, to welcome uh, Pastor Ladonna Chie uh, Gwenemba, who is in the studio with us. Uh, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing good. You, you, you brought Habi to the show today. I can see. Evening, evening, evening. How are you? So that's that's Ray. Uh, so to Nababana Mai. So that's how how we're going to be referring to you today, Babana Mai from Zayoja uh, Forward in Faith, Greendale. Could you say Greendale? Well, Greendale is quite well. Uh, we shalom, shalom to everyone. We thank you so much for this opportunity. So there you have it. Uh, we've got Zayoja in the building, and I know quite a lot of people are now glued on now. That like, And also in the studio we have Ras Ashilo Binyamin Shimon. Uh, who's uh, going to be representing the Rastafarianism corner. Greetings in the divine name of his imperial majesty and emperor Aile Selassie and empress men and Gia Rastafari. And uh, someone who is not easy to get into the studio, but somehow he has found his way uh, to the studio today. Uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, Sheikh Ishmalia uh, Dua, uh, who is the president of uh, the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs in Zimbabwe. Uh, good evening. How are you, Sheikh? Oh, very fine. I say, Aslam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Means peace of God be upon you. Mm. And I say, congratulations to all Muslims in Zimbabwe and worldwide for Eid Mubarak. Mm. Aslam alaikum. Yes, yesterday there was something going on. Um, I, I heard that in the Islamic faith there was something going on yesterday or the day before yesterday. Yes, in yeah. fact, uh, this is the month of Abrahamic mm. where a lot of sacrifice is done and a lot of people are in Mecca now. On the mm. Yes, yes, yes. So, to Hajj, so today um, we had Eid Mubarak. The, the slaughtering of the, the cows. The slaughtering of the cows, yes. Mm, mm. And this is from Ishma the grandson of Abraham, who happened to be also uh, the cousin of Jesus, because all of them came from Abraham. Mm. I was talking to Sheikh Mdala, he was explaining a few things. Mm. That's how I know about the slaughtering of the cows that was happening. He says he enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So that, those are the voices in the studio today. And um, uh, before we, we dive straight in, we have got a quiz question for you, as we always do in the studio. Uh, today's quiz question is, who is the only woman mentioned by name in the Quran? That's our quiz question for today. Diani, 
akanyatso domwa nizita in the Quran who is the only woman mentioned by name in the Quran so this is going to be pretty interesting this is faith on trial Faith on trial on Star FM what's up us on 0772162651 call in on 0772162651 or 0714414413 This is Faith on Trial on Star FM, exploring matters of faith and issues within the church. So let's uh, get into it and uh, we've got the happy gang behind the scenes uh, Steve Vickers uh, you heard his voice uh, doing the promo for the show but he's not around uh, Steve Vickers is in Swansea Wales uh, but I'm sure he's tuning in right now and um, so it's me we've got Sakile and we've got Tobek Kile somewhere there we're separated by this big monitor so can't see them they can't see me but we can hear each other and uh, this is where I hand over the reins uh, to the team that deals with the trending story so this segment of the show we talk about what's been trending and uh, in the area of faith and things of that nature so let's hear from Sakile what's going on Okay, so on our trending story today, at least 14 Jordanian citizens have died during the Hajj pilgrimage in Saudi Arabia due to intense heat. Uh, Jordan's foreign ministry said 14 of its nationals had died after suffering sunstroke due to the extreme heat wave and a further 17 had been reported missing. And according to the AFP news agency, uh, the Iranian Red Crescent confirmed that five Iranian pilgrims had also lost their lives but did not specify how they died. Uh, so Hajj, a religious requirement for all Muslims, is one of the largest mass gatherings in the world. More than 1.8 million uh, pilgrims are taking part this year, according to Saudi officials. Uh, so um, the question around it uh, in uh, on social media is, uh, you know, when is it enough? How, how far is too far to do or to give um, to you know your religious beliefs um, and your religious beliefs supposed not supposed and are your religious beliefs aren't your religious beliefs supposed to edify uh, a believer and um, are there any safety measures that are being implemented or why aren't there any safety measures being implemented right there Mm, mm. It's so, a so yeah. It's it's, a, it's quite a sad one. Yeah, yeah, and and we I think we also have, you know, we've we've experienced uh, one as well. This one was, um, we you know we we these, these things tend to trend surrounding my posture. Right, right. You know, being struck by lightning or things like that in bad weather, and it's yes. it's, it's um it's quite unfortunate for us to be talking about this and maybe just a few updates as well more than 50 people from Botswana died coming from a ZCC pilgrimage in South Africa yesterday we're talking about seven people dying several being injured uh, from uh, uh, the Anglican uh, diocese in Manicaland so there's 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 quite a lot happening here uh, in terms of um, these reports coming through and so how do you safeguard people from this? Uh, maybe if I since since you are here, uh, Sheikh, how do you safeguard people from 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 you know hazardous weather conditions? Despite being part of um, doing a, a religious, uh, you know, tradition, yeah. going to Makkah is one of our pillars. Mm. We've got five pillars in Islam, mm. so going there, Hajj is one of our pillars. Mm. And on death, you cannot safeguard because death comes from God. And you said religious groups are the people who are dying. No. Even uh, political rallies. Uh, I still remember there was a rally which people died. Mm. You may have masafities and you may have that. Because God says, cool enough to die at the mount. Every soul will face death. So the facing of death, it doesn't mean that you've got the way. No. You can die in any. But those who have died in Makkah, on the Ibadah, doing their Ibadah, the fifth pillar, or to us, is granted to go to paradise. Because they've got that intention 
of doing that pillar. They've walked into extreme and hazardous yes. conditions yes. for Allah. Yes. But it's so not only religious groups, mm. even political groups. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm. 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 So that's our trending story for the day. Face on trial on Star FM. What's up? On 0772162651. Call in on 0772162651 or 0714414413. So we continue with Faith on Trial, and we'd like to hear your thoughts on the discussions that we're going to be having today. 0772162651. Those are the numbers to dial and uh, if you have our whatsapp number save it click the link that's in the description and you can be part of the faith on trial group uh, so today we've got a big one now we are talking about the monotheistic god is there a universal god or is the concept of god unique to specific religions in the studio we've uh, tried to bring multiple voices uh, that can contribute uh, to this uh, discussion in uh, in the studio from Zayoja Ford in Faith Greendale. We also have Ras Shilo, uh, who is uh, Rastafari or Rastafarianism. He's going to be correcting me there uh, very soon. And we also have uh, Sheikh Ishmali uh, A. Dua, who is the president of the Supreme Council of uh, Islamic Affairs in Zimbabwe. Uh, so we're going to be learning uh, quite a lot today. So, as usual, when we uh, dive into the show, we our first stop is the streets. We want to hear uh, what you have to say in the streets. So Faith on Trial was in the streets and we were asking questions and uh, this is what you had to say with regards to uh, this topic about the monotheistic God. Is it one God for all or different gods for different people? I believe we serve the same God uh, but what just differs is the names and the way uh, our religion, our religions, structures, how we praise or how we pray to God. But then, no funga guti angori mwari wa anishino zungu siya na mazita. But then, kuna mata ungori na mata pa guti. After all, tinge zungu tukuna mata kuna mwari chiro mazita. Aga siya na kano ni marilijin, aga siya na. But the, the, the ultimate goal is one guti we tukuna mata na mwari. So I believe guti we just save one God. Ngori ndi one. Saga <laughs> In Angu, I personally believe that there is a universal God, the creator of all things. But I don't think they, all the religions worship the same God. Because the Kurukuns do not worship the same God. There is a personal contradiction that my belief said. Because even let's compare ATR and Christianity. Christianity, the God of the Bible, is forbidden, necromancing, and it. But that's the heart of their communication with their God. We, they talk to through the dead. They know Akaf and Duano so sweet up Namari. So it's no contradict. Even Tikatasa, even Islam church, our God is a trinity. But the Islamic God is not a trinity. So I don't think the religions worship the same God. Chinese man of Buddha, Hindu of Krishna. Muslim of Allah, Christian of Jesus, Rastaman of Jah, is one thing, it's just language, cultural, difference, perspective, but 
we all allude to the same divine source, same creator. Uh, so those are uh, the uh, uh, voices in the streets and what you guys are saying. And some of them came from uh, the uh, WhatsApp group, the official Faith on Trial WhatsApp group. Uh, if you want to be part of the official uh, Star FM uh, Faith on Trial group, you can click the link that's in the description on our WhatsApp number right now, which is 0772162651. So those were the thoughts uh, that came out uh, from the people. So maybe let me start with Ras Shil. Benjamin Shimon uh, he is um, Rastafari Rastafarianism so maybe there was a lot of confusion when when faith on trial was on the streets people m- may not know what exactly Rastafarianism is okay uh, can you try to demystify um, there's so much things to say but I'll try to be very short um, from the clip of the person in the street from the clip of the person in the street um, the first thing is, if you read the Bible, Psalm 68, verse 4, it says, Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that read the heavens by his name. Ja, and rejoice before him. So, so, in, so Rastafarianism is... So in Hebrew, mm. Yah, Yahweh, Ja, Jehovah is all synonymous it's all linguistic because technically you don't have the letter j in hebrew itself however we live in a multicultural cosmopolitan world where some people use the letter j so the point is so elijah the prophet his name means my lord my god that's what his name actually means hallelujah hallelujah Praise ye the Lord. So it's just semantics. And um, from a linguistical perspective, the word God is rooted in German, which has a whole other etymological meaning, but we're not going to dwell on that because the significance we need to point out is what do people mean when they refer to God? What do people mean when they refer to a creator, a divine source? So, for example, if I am a Shona person, there are words I'm going to say. I'm going to say Musikavanu. I'm going to say Mwari. I'm going to say Musiki. If I am Hindu, I'm going to say Krishna. I'm going to say Siva and all those other things. If I'm Buddhist, I'm going to talk about Buddha. But the essence, what are we alluding to? So you are Christians who call God Jah? Um, I wouldn't say we are Christians that call God Jah. But the point I'm trying to clarify is we actually do not call the creator by his name. We, we, we call the creator by the titles and attributes. So, for example, in English, we're going to use God. We're going to use the Almighty. We're going to use Heavenly Father. We're going to use the creator. Those are not his names. These are his attributes. So what are we referring to and alluding to in name-calling? Just like someone will call you by your name, E.T. But who is E.T.? E.T. <coughs> is the reference to the person. So Rastafarianism has no definition? No, yeah, Rastafarian have definition, man. It's liberty in, 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 in truth because we are divine. So, so as long as you are living in truth, you live your lifestyle in truth and serve any God, you are Rasta. No, but this is my point. There is not serving any God mm. because there is but one God. So the Hindu God, the Buddha God, the All Christian right. God, There's the Rastafarian a, God, if I can Allah give it, is one God. Yeah, if I can give an analogy... When I was growing up in school, mm. there was this story about six blind men mm. and an elephant. So these men were blind. So they could not see the elephant. 
so they were positioned in different points of the elephant one was by the leg one was by the side one was by the trunk one was by the ears so the one who held the leg he said it's a tree trunk the one who held the side he said it's a wall the one who held the tail he said it's a rope the one who held the trunk he said it's a pipe and so forth so it's all about perspectives how you are seeing things from where you stand but the issue we are discussing is we are creation all of us are but one divine creation we represent the most high we are created in his likeness and in his image and here we are and there is no separation there is no division so i'm not going to take it into account how you refer to something that i myself am connected to if you are if you are a child i am a child if you are a father i am a father so so rastafarianism is fluid no, a, 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 a hindu can be rastafari well, a buddha can be rastafari the concept of rastafari, rastafari in simplicity is we look at everyone and everything as rastafari so we don't see this separation this division that you say you're christian you're muslim because to i and i you are i and i am you and the whole are we is one and it's divine because we all come from the same divine source the same air you breathe is the same air i breathe sir if i was not breathing this air i would not be talking and neither would you so it's divine and you and i are breathing that same air and it's divine it's not yours and it's not mine okay so maybe let's let, let me go to uh, to shake a dua are you rastafari no i'm a muslim <laughs> is is uh, is uh, ras shimo shilo um muslim he does not uphold any of the five pillars no i don't think so in fact i want to talk as a muslim okay so so We, so, so 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 you clearly disassociate with rastafarianism yeah i have spoken quite a lot of things and moreover mm. I, um, uh, i don't comment things which i don't know mostly what i'm going to talk here is about islam Mm. and so our topic you, so, so, today so, so. our topic today is yeah. do we serve the same god mm -hmm. that's where i'm going okay okay yes. so 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 let's let's let, let's let's hear it. i just wanted to for us to to be on the same wavelength and the same pattern yes yeah in fact we as muslims mm. we serve one god who was not born who doesn't have father who doesn't have mother in swahili they say mungu akuoa wala mtoto akusawa and that god is the one who sent the prophets from adam noah abraham jesus we've got more chapters of jesus in the quran and we are told in the quran that lan farq bayna rasul you cannot be a muslim if you don't believe in jesus so we serve one god whom we call allah and allah means god in yao lungu in shona mwari mundevere umkulu mkulu is the same god that's why you could find that long time ago wakur right musika wano they were referring to allah to god yes why we must use allah instead of god because the word god itself it have got plural gods you can say gods there's an s there but on allah there's no plural it means that we serve on one god whom we cannot compare with anybody and according to islam to say god is like that one is not that one is prohibited you so so, so allah cannot be hindu cannot be buddha cannot be uh, the christian god it says like what uh, my my brother benjamin ras benjamin is saying No if if Christians are praying to same god as i said that is language if they pray to one god which they don't associate with something what we deny is to associate something with god so Christians associate Jesus with god to us Jesus was sent by god as he stated in John 
I cannot do anything on my own except with the command of my father. You get the point there. We don't say Jesus is God. Therefore, the Christian God and Allah becomes different because the Christian God is plural. Yeah, if the Christian says Jesus is God, mm. then there yes, we are not together. Mm. Okay, so maybe let me come to the Christians. They are here. <laughs> uh, they are here. Uh, they are represented today by Zayoja uh, Tirukufara. Um, so maybe let's talk a bit about the Christian God. If someone wants to ask you who the Christian God is, how would you how would you explain who the Christian God is? Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, it's quite an interesting story. I think uh, starting from the book of uh, Exodus, uh, from the twentieth chapter, uh, verse twenty two. We hear God giving the Ten Commandments and one of the first thing God then says to man is you shall have no other gods before me. And he goes on to say you shall not make yourself a carved image in any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is on the earth beneath or that is within the water or underneath the earth. So when we come to this topic, indeed there are many gods. Mm but there is one true God. Um, and, um, well, with response to if the Christian God is the same as the Muslim God and uh, the Rasta, I was going to say Farian God. <laughs> um, man derives his being from, from one source. When we speak, I think uh, even the Rastafarian was speaking about the Torah. He spoke about the book of Psalms. So he's delving into the word of God. Even Muslim speaks um, about the first five books of the Bible. Uh, they are quite critical to them. So to an extent, we do on the panelists who are here, I may safely say we may have the same God, but there are indeed other gods. I think where we draw parallels with Islam is where they see Jesus Christ as a prophet and not as the son of God. Um, and uh, even within uh, the Quran, even within um, their readings, he rightfully put it that if you don't acknowledge Jesus, then you are not truly um, Muslim. Um, but I think our bone of contention would be, you know, who he is. Um, he quoted uh, the book of John, and I'm also going to speak from the book of John, which um, speaks about how in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the, the Word dwelt amongst us. It became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And so that's where we see the divineness of God coming into mankind. How his great power and how through his great plan, when you read the book of Genesis in the third chapter, we are told about how, you know, even before the third chapter, how men fell. And after the fall of man, God then speaks, verse 15, he speaks that there is going to be a seed that is going to be given birth by a woman. And this seed shall crush the head of the serpent. And we see God's plan on how he wants to save God, mankind. Um, so in a nutshell. So, so, so now we've got, we've got uh, three... We've got three angles on this monotheistic God. We've got the Christians who acknowledge Christ. And we've got the Muslims who say, no, Christ. Yeah, you know, Christ is there, but he's not Christ. He's Jesus. Excuse Christ is, is, is the title that he then gets from, from being the Messiah. Am I, am I in the right path here? That Christ is the title that he gets from the Messiah from an Islamic point of view? From an Islamic point of view, he's a prophet like any other prophet. So he's not Christ. Yeah, because God sent the prophets into nations and tribes. So so, he, so, so Jesus in Islam is Jesus, not it's, Jesus Christ. He's a messenger. He's a messenger of God. Okay. But the Quran itself, 
no. according to the birth of Jesus, Jesus mm. the Quran Surah Maryam says, an angel came to Mary and say, you have a son. You get the point? Mm. Because people basis that he didn't have the father. Yes, he didn't have the father. But the Quran said, an angel came to Mary and said, you have a son. And Mary ans asked, how can I have a son when no man touched me? Now, listen careful. God created his creation in four forms. The, the first creation, which is Adam. Adam, did he have a father? No. Did he have a mother? No. He was completely created by God. Then God again created the second creation, which is Eva. Did he have a mother? No. But did he have a father? Yes. From a man. Then the same God created now another creation, which is Jesus, who had a mother but no father. Then the fourth creation was you and me. We have got father and mother. Mkona miracle ya mwari. Saka ipapa Adam tunomutichi. Because Adam didn't have a father, didn't have a mother. So that's how powerful God is. Okay, so so I just wanted to ask to have clarity there on the difference between the Christian God and Allah. So that uh, you are not lumped into the Christian God, which you refute. And you are also not lumped into the Allah, uh, as you believe that Christ, uh, the word was with God and the word dwelt amongst us. And then uh, we come to uh, Ras uh, Shiloh. Um, as the, as the conversation two, yeah, develops, you want to say something. There are two things from this conversation that mm. uh, are takeaways. Mm. First was monotheistic. Mm. Mono means one. Yeah. Theistic means godly, of God. Mm -hmm. So monotheistic means there is one God. There is no plural, pluralism at all. Secondly, we are, for the most part, Zimbabwean. And... So, in order for you to claim your genealogical lineage, you have to be from a specific tribe. So, if we open the Bible, Matthew chapter 1, we are told the genealogy of Jesus Christ. So, I find it interesting that Jesus is from the tribe of Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah, conquering lion of the tribe, that's his title. And the only way he can claim that is actually through Joseph. Joseph, was, Mary was a Levite, she was from the tribe of Levi. But according to Matthew chapter 1, from Adam to David, we've got 14 generations. From David to the captivity in Babylon, we've got 14 generations. And from the captivity in Babylon to the birth of Christ, we've got 14 generations. And the 13th before that is Yusuf, Joseph, who is from the tribe of Judah, who is a descendant of David through the line of King Solomon. So Jesus can only claim to be Yehudim. Judah, Yehudite, through Joseph. So, for all intents and purposes, aside from spiritual doctrine and religious dogma, Jesus genealogically is a descendant of Joseph. Where does Heli Selassie come in? Okay, Heli Selassie is a title. Again, it's not a name. That's why I was clarifying. Heli Selassie just means power and might of the Trinity. So, so, so the the emperor Heli Selassie of Ethiopia. Yes. Tell us a bit about that. All right. What, 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 was it a title? Okay. How 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 is that emperor okay. part of the Rastafari? His equation? name is Rastafari. So when he was crowned king in 1930 November, so when they put him on the throne and crowned him king. He was given, the, 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 the throne came with the title, Negus Negast, Germawiye Germawi, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Moa Anbesa, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And as he assumes the throne, he gets a title, which is specifically not a name, but is assumed as one. So when he was crowned, he was given the name 
Haile Selassie, but his name is Rastafari Makonen. And from so, so, so from there, is it safe to say that's where the Rastafarianism originated? Yes, the term Rastafari is after Rastafari. <clears throat> so for someone to say I'm Rastafari is because of Rastafari. So this emperor Haile Selassie, which is a title yes. of Ethiopia, yes. for you to be Rastafari, you have to believe in well, Emperor first in, Haile Selassie of Ethiopia, okay. who was crowned in 1930 we, November. We, within the Rastafari concept, mm. we do not have belief. You just do Because, as, no, we have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Knowledge, wise mind, and overstanding. Mm. Because one who believes does not know. Believing something does not mean it's true. So, so even is, if I was to quote Christian false? doctrine, in Galatians or somewhere it says, be still and know that I am God. If we go to Proverbs, it says, you should know and not believe. So someone will say to me, I believe in God. Me, I will say, I don't believe in God. I know him and I love him. And as Rasta, we have what we call perfect balance because religion to us is very sexist. Religion is a set of principles designed by insecure men and they use it to oppress women. When so, you say religion, which one are you talking okay, about? Okay, religion basically means realigning yourself to something that is not of your origin. So we should. So when you align yourself yeah, to, so to that's to why an you Ethiopian convert. Emperor, no, we're not aligning. Are you? No, this is the point. When you're religious, you align yourself to something. Mm. When you're spiritual, because spiritual is direct from the Most High, religion is a set of principles. It's man-made doctrine. Spirituality is direct from the Creator, from the divine source, which is not gender-based which is not racially based and which has no man-made doctrine. So, for example, in Shona we say, Manoe Nyoka Inyoka. Therefore, the offspring of God is God. You cannot say the offspring of God is something else. If it's an offspring of God, it's God. And therefore, it has to attain this godliness. Be holy, for I am holy. Okay. Father, make them one as you and I are one. I in you, you in I. So it's, it's us connecting to the supreme creator who is within all of us. Okay, and so so maybe 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 let's 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 bring in uh, Sheikh Dua. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, <clears throat> let me just uh, inform you mm. that all the prophets who came they were Muslims. Because you are just saying Muslims, Islam, Islam. Yeah. Why do I say so? so Why so, do so Ethiopian Haley Selassie was Muslim? All the prophets, mm. I mean the real prophets. Are you implying that yeah, Selassie the real Selassie prophets false? like Adam, Jesus, and so forth? Why we say they are Muslims? Because Islam does not drive that name does not drive from a human being. Mm. Because all of them they came to preach peace. Islam means peace. You get the point there. That's why we say Assalam alaikum wa rahmat. Peace be upon you. That is a noun from Islam. It's unlike Christianity. Christianity is the followers of Jesus Christ. You get the point. Now, we believe in Muhammad, but our, uh, our religion is not Muhammadian. No, it's Islam. And all of them, the prophets, they were sent by God to come and preach peace. If you abstain from bad things and do good things, that is peace. So we are talking about peace here. So Islam means peace. It's a way of life. It teaches us everything. And in Islam, we are taught to acquire knowledge from the day of birth up to day of death. At least what it was, what you say. So, so if you, you keep so, on researching. So, so, so if you don't believe in Muhammad, are you still Muslim? Are you still a No, no, no. You should not believe in all prophet, including Muhammad. Because so, so in the if, Quran, if, they say, learn Fadqubayna Rasul. You shouldn't 
differentiate all the prophets of God. Because God sent the prophets into tribes, into nations and tribes. Yes. I you get, get the point I there. That. And I'm saying, for I'm 400 saying, years, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, yes. If one says, mm. look, uh, I, I don't believe in Muhammad, mm. are they still Muslim? Uh, they are not Muslims. Because Muhammad, let me tell you again something. Yeah. Muhammad, and, Muhammad and Jesus, they were cousins. They Savannah were Abraham. Because Abraham had two wives. That is Sarah. From Sarah, that's where Isaac was born. And from Isaac, no nana Joseph, no one is ruling. We just have one Rasta father, who can build anana, anana, anana Joseph. Then we have Hagar, the second wife, no one can build the first one, which is Ishmael, to the Arab tribes. That's why in Deuteronomy chapter eighteen, verse uh, chapter eighteen, verse eighteen, ano taurai wa kuti kuchauya Jesus akat kuchauya acha zazikisa. We read the wrong So when Muhammad came, that's where you could find with all the book of Jesus is in the Quran, book of David is in the Quran, Lan Farq, all of them. We embrace all of them. At Saru the Gita one. So you also by that uh, you know, by that are you implying that you also embrace um Haley Selassie, the Ethiopian Emperor? If I may interject, if I may interject, Islam, so called Judaism, and so called Christianity are what we term as the Abrahamic religions. So they are rooted in. The Torah. So, if you look at it genealogically, you had the Hebrew Abrahamic teachings, which con turned into Christianity as Christians adopted the Torah and came with and added the New Testament to it. And then Islam follows that trajectory, and in Islam, its fulfillment. Because certain things were not fulfilled within, according to Islam. So, first of all, Muslim and then uh, and then and then nineteen thirty something happened, which is after Muhammad. We want to include that. No, see, this is the thing. You have to understand. We live in a world where Rastafari is not considered or acknowledged because it's seen as after the fact. However, the reality is. Rasta precedes all these things. Yeah. And if, if, if I may clarify, all the information we have now pertaining to religious discourse is predicated within a country like Zimbabwe. It's predicated on Judo-Christian principles. And therefore, the Bible and, and the Quran are considered holy scriptures because these are all revealed scriptures. If you look at the Quran, Muhammad was, it was not his words. These things were revealed to him. It's the word of God. And hence, biblical stories make an appearance in the Quran. Mary, the mother of Jesus, makes an appearance in the Quran. She's actually mentioned in the Quran on several occasions. And actually, a funny fact, Jesus is mentioned in the Quran more times than Muhammad. Uh, okay, so 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 maybe I, I maybe maybe you can think about this limbo we are to this. You can think about where uh, Haley Selassie then comes into the all of this. Simon, without apology. <laughs> after after so so you're you're saying after Christ, after Muhammad, I'm saying Haley after, Selassie I'm saying before before Haley Selassie was there. And he was realized in 1930. No, it's not a realization. His majesty, because remember, we are spiritual beings experiencing a physical existence. Okay, so maybe, let me, let me come to you. Let's, let's, talk about, um, let's talk about the Christians for a bit. The Christians have been quiet for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, 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 so according to, to Sheikh Dua, he's saying, look, if you do not acknowledge Muhammad, then you're not part of, you're not serving the same God as us. 
do Christians acknowledge Muhammad? We, I pers- we don't acknowledge Muhammad. Um, what I wanted to say was, um, when we are speaking, including all religions, we say we are worshipping one God. But when it comes to what we practice and the things that we believe in when we're worshipping God, it shows that there are different gods. There is no one God because we are having our own set of beliefs as Christians. Um, the Muslims are coming on with their own set of beliefs and the Rastafarian is coming on with their own set of beliefs. But however, what we can say we have in common is when we are saying that we have a God, we are agreeing that it's a supernatural being. He was he was not created by anyone, but in fact he created the world and he created everything that is in it. That is what we can agree in. But who is God? I don't think we can really agree on one God. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is Faith on Trial. This is Faith on Trial on Star FM. Exploring matters of faith and issues within the church. Faith on Trial on Star FM. What's up? Us on 0772-162-651. Call in on 0772-162-651 or 0714-414-413. This is Faith on Trial on Star FM. Exploring matters of faith and issues within the church. So, th- th- quite quite a lot is said about the characteristics of the gods that are served. The Christians will say that we uh, know our God because of the character. Uh, the Muslims will say the same. Rastafari is also uh, in that corner talking about um, liberty as well and things like that. Uh, so we got in touch uh, with uh, Sheikh Mdala, uh, who gave us a bit of an insight in terms of the area of sin and how Allah deals with that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah the most merciful the most compassionate uh, respected brothers and sisters in Islam sins are divided into two we have major sins and we have minor sins now what are major sins major sins are those sins on which a punishment has been prescribed in the Quran or Sunnah to be enforced in this present life or on which words of curse have ever appeared or on which uh, a warning of hell uh, has been mentioned uh, all major sins now the examples of major sins are worshiping others or uh, associating partners with Allah which is known as shirk believing in superstitions fortune telling uh, using magic or sorcery, committing murder, uh, committing suicide, bearing fo- false witness, uh, committing adultery or fornication, cheating, stealing and lying, uh, charging or paying interest, consuming pork or uh, alcohol, uh, consuming the wealth of an, of an orphan, uh, not fasting in the month of Ramadan, uh, not observing daily prayers, not paying uh, zakat, which is a stipulated amount that is to be paid, uh, gambling, uh, bribery, betraying trust and breaking contracts, backbiting and slandering, uh, breaking the ties of kinship, uh, disobeying or uh, not honoring one's parents. So these are some examples of major sins. Now, minor sins, what? Minor sins are opposite to the major sins, which means there are uh, no text that says that, you know, if you do this, then definitely uh, you are going to be in hellfire or there's a curse on that uh, sin, right? So examples are not lowering your gaze when uh, walking, uh, cursing, bullying, uh, uh, imitating uh, immoral people in dress, behavior and lifestyle. 
so uh, that's uh, Sheikh Amdala. Shout out to you. I know you were busy over the past uh, couple of days, but I know that he follows uh, uh, the show a lot and he's one of those friends of uh, Faith on Trial. So let me come uh, to um, uh, to Ras Shilo in the studio. Does Rastafari have a, have a book that they follow? And, and what's the thought behind sin as far as Rastafari is concerned? All right. First of all, sin is wrongdoing. Mm. So for me, you cannot say the sin is bigger or the sin is lesser. So you disagree with So if I steal one dollar, I'm no different from a person who's stolen a million dollars. Because the fundamental thing is sinning. And if I go against one law i've gone against all laws so so where does where does the rastafari get this code of conduct from well rasta is universal so, so you can pick up a, a buddhist so, book and you start so following it no it's not following you know it's more like we are leading because when something comes after me hmm. i look into it and see where it understands my perception of things. So, 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 so maybe taking alcohol, smoking weed, and things like that, is that sin? Well, smoking weed can be a sin, you know. <laughs> no, think about it. Really, smoking weed cannot be a sin mm. because it's not even about smoking the weed. So what is it about? Okay, for example, the receptors in the brains need weed. are known as endocannabinoids. That's the actual scientific biological name to and 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 when you look at the plant itself it has spiritual medicinal physical aspects and unfortunately people dwell on the smoking aspect of it but if you have a u.s dollar in your pocket you've got ganja in your pocket it's made from hemp if you wear jean if you have canvas that's why it's called canvas. It's made from cannabis. But those are these are minor issues. People tend to dwell So if you if you if you the person was wearing a jean, am I wearing a jean? No, yeah. I'm not. But well, so if I, if someone was wearing a jean and someone was smoking weed, these two are No, the clearly same. it's two different things, right? But what I'm saying is Is it sin? No. What is sin? Okay, sin so, is okay, wrongdoing. Okay, okay, if, okay. If, let's if, let's 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 leave it there. Let, let me come to 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 the Christians for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Being <you>. intoxicated, <laughs> where does that sugar. fall? Oh, okay, um, intoxication. Clearly, um, man was not designed to be intoxicated. Um, the word of God speaks against drunkenness. True. Yeah, and. Um, that's some form of intoxication. Definitely. Yes. Um, with regards to sin. Um, let's talk about, let's go back to sin. Let's I talk think, about I yeah. think, yeah. Uh, the book of uh, Romans has, um, Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, death, but the gift of God is eternal life. life through Christ Jesus our Lord. And so, I, I, well, I would not um, subscribe to the notion that there is small sin and big sin sin is sin and what sin simply means is you have missed the mark you have transgressed from grace you have transgressed and so uh, i want to believe uh, that in the household if someone persists uh, I, I want to give a simple thing if you have a child who continues to take um a dollar or one zig every day, a small amount of money, but it's done every day. That on its own will cause problems in the home. That consistency. And so whether it's a dollar, it's 500, it's, it's the same thing. It's the principle. Theft. So, so, so sin, from my point of view, hmm. is... Uh, is that what the Christian Bible says? Yep. Okay, so well, so so does does that difference in character point to a different God? For me, that that those are some of the attributes which start then to um, put cracks in what we believe in, 
because we should have the same belief. Mm. Yeah. Um, and your verse says you get eternal life through, through Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Yes. The forgiveness of sin. When we speak about the forgiveness of sin, it comes through uh, the, rem- the remission of sin, comes through the washing by the blood of Jesus Christ. When Christ went up on the cross, he gave his life for the lives of others. He was that lamb without blemish or spot that was sacrificed. Um, even the Muslims, they were speaking about having sacrificed just this week. Yeah, so and so they cows. understand what sacrifice means. So instead of us continually going with bulls and for the remission of sin, Christ came sacrifice for that one so ultimate sacrifice that no other needed. So by believing in Jesus Christ, you tap in or you then get that grace that is afforded to you. Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. So if you're just tuning in, uh, we have in the studio uh, with us, uh, uh, we've got uh, Sheikh Ishmali A. Dua, who's the president of the Supreme Council of uh, Islamic Affairs in Zimbabwe. Uh, we also have Ras Shilo Binyamin Shimon, uh, who's uh, uh, Rastafari, and he's been talking about Rastafarianism. And also we have Babadamai Echi Gwenemba uh, from Zayoja Forward in Faith in Greendale. 0772 one zero seven one four four one four four one three. Want to take a couple of calls uh, before we head out, and then we'll come to you, uh, Sheikh, uh, to have a word on uh, some of uh, these things. This is a faith on trial. Faith on trial on Star FM. What's up? On zero seven seven two one six two six five one. Call in on zero seven seven two one six two six five one or zero seven one four four one four four one three. Good evening. You're through to uh, Faith on Trial. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Where am I talking to? Okay, you're talking to Kuda. Okay, Kuda, you can go ahead. Okay, yeah, I just want to say good citizens. Eh, Pavadre, I think I think I could see if I even got a brainwash, but faith and God is the same just because Islamic, when I go to Pokawaya Muhammad after Jesus, then you got to say, Marastafari is true because eh, King Selassie, El Selassie. Akatu Zarwa Mu Itopia, but as Zarwa Mu Itopia, Satan Gazuka Patron, Akatu Betka Wondo, Munguru Kota, then by Vanima Catholic, my Islamic, and Yo Marastafari, and he was a prayer warrior. Muna Namata, so he was a leader by that time, and the group right to lead out the belief could be do forthcoming at Jesus after. Muhammad, Awiao, Nechichi, but it's a lot of confusion. They could, uh, ma churches, animal doctrines, Ugatasama Christianity, for example, Waka brainwash one, British, I got to colonize. Just because, Tikati, Vano Rambas Mojini, Waka Sananuku African tradition, Kutimi Jimu Edu Nuguna Mwai, but Vano Timu Jimu Trina, so you see. Yeah, thanks. So, so, so that's Kuda. We know Kuda on the show. He's an ATR guy, very strong on his ATR beliefs, and uh, that's his uh, contribution there. Let's let's get another one. Hello, Italy. Uh Good evening. Thank you for being a friend of Faith on Trial. Who am I talking to? Rutendo, Tenora. Rutendo, you can go ahead. Okay. Oh, this is quite an interesting topic on the table. I'm not going to comment about any other religion, but for the one faith I know, that is Christianity. To just elaborate on the concept of God in Christianity, in which the actual fact which makes him outstanding as compared to the so-called gods of the other religion is none other than his grace and unconditional love. You don't have a relationship with him based on whether you sin or not. You actually have a relationship with him based on 
Jesus Christ, through whom he executed his redemption plan after the fall of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And this whole concept of sin, you know, this whole idea of sin, you know, it was just dealt away with once and for all by Jesus Christ. And this is the God we know in Christianity. It's not about us. It's not about what we do. But it's what it's all about what Jesus Christ himself has done on the cross. His person and finished works. And we can never have an intimate relationship with God apart from him. And according to Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, Jesus Christ himself became sin. He knew no sin, but he became sin so that we could be made the righteousness of, of God. It's as simple as that. And you can never find any other religion that has faith in that. And this is the kind of God Christians worship. Mm. Thank you, Thank you, uh, uh, Rutendo, for that. Maybe I'll just take one more and then I'll bring it back into the studio. Uh, good evening. It's through to Faith on Trial. Yes, how are you? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Uh, Nukta Ronan? Nukta Ronan Kuda from Dindora. Uh, Kuda, you can go ahead. Okay. My point here is all those people who are in the house or Star FM, they could, where they are coming from, I am a Christian, but my point is, if you look upon us Christians, we don't uh, stick to what the Bible says as we came. And those Muslims, they do exactly what's written in the Quran. So now I get confused. Because at times we follow the Christianity way, when it's like a one, a two, jamba, and you follow a doctrine, the church, a theory. Take an example, if you look at uh, from First Corinthians chapter 14, it says a lot about Ndini, it says about and all those things. But because doctrine, like a former Nevan, but Christians, they are so suta is so. But Islamic, one of the Quran, I've been following my, I've got friends from Islamic. So I'm confused, and I think. I'm a Christian, I don't want to stick to the Bible, just like this, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Muslim. My argument here is, my Christians, they claim to have the same Bible. But it's not the same. So I give thumbs to, 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 to my Muslim, because they do what they, they've been taught. And as a Christian, I believe it's not like a Christian, just like a Christian, but if you go to Botswana, so, my Christians got to speak a condition in Bible, whether with a dog scene, can I go to the niggas at all in the moon and get a change? That's my contribution. Then, I will, my last up, I want to know you what I cannot see. I don't have to judge, but I'm so I sound I'm just there for Christians and I'm Muslim. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's let's take it back into the studio. And unfortunately, our time is is running out. Uh, so I'll start uh, with um, uh, Sheikh Dua. I think um, uh, you might have uh, something to say here. And um, what would you like to leave our listeners with today? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to comment what the pastor said. Mm-hmm. We as Muslims, we don't believe that Jesus was crucified, was killed. We don't believe in that. And we believe that Jesus will come. We are waiting for Jesus. But we don't believe Jesus. Then his blood washed our sins. Then why are we going to church? Can I, my sins are washed already. So it's who says Muslims. We believe in Jesus. But we don't believe in uh, Jesus. In the crucifixion. Yes. Yeah, then yeah, secondly... Yeah. And the Japanese are told on a shame that Islam is a way of life. You see, most of the things that we do, and especially I would like to comment on our president, His Excellency. Mukata Sanyema drugs, Yambota or Wapanapa, drugs. In the Quran, drugs, including Bible and Arib Vumirwe, anything which you take. No, it's not allowed completely. Our president Jakari Wakaisaji, 
you have put this committee of corruption. Corruption in the Quran and Babylonians do not take corruption on the land. Saka Isusu, Seva Fundisi, Mapasa, Tautori, and politician. Otherwise, he is head of the state, Tagmuti Sheikh, and not bishop. Because now he's doing, that I found out what he cheated. But Isusu, his Fundis now, Takungo, Manyache, Gumiche, Gumuti, Tenga, Butsa, let us say, says that all running about our phone, about it, our Christians, we do, we do not my church. Let's we for our Bible. If we go to Holy Bible, you know, to teach us, we say, because, we have to go to the church, we have but we have chapter one, we have preach, we have to preach, we have to gumi, and we have to go to the church. Now, Jesus says, Zaka, it have got special people whom we give Zaka. Mm. So, uh, what I encourage Zaka in the, is, is the preaching. Yeah, the, the, the that's way. the tidying. Okay. Yeah, like myself, I'm a share mm -hmm. and I'm a businessman. I don't take Zaka, I give Zaka. Okay. That's the difference with the Christian. The Christian, you know, the one phone is. You give it's so Zaka. Give. Mm -hmm. Unless you're going to share what you have to do, then he gets. Mm. You get the point yeah. there. So, if all the churches were utilizing that Zaka, that it is never orphans, that it is Nichi, Islam is a way of life to look after orphans, to look after widows, to look everything we don't select. So, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism is called in the Quran, Ahl al Kitab, means it's the Abrahamic faith. We believe in this faith. So maybe let's go to uh, Ras Shilo for your, your, your final thoughts. Uh, it seems like in the studio you've taken a bit of a battering. With no, people. man, may, may not take no battering, Rasta. You know, we love it still, you know, but for me it's just simple and my goodbye is just live clean, let your works be seen. You know what I mean? Because we're justified by our works. Because some people say certain things but them now live it. So just live life, live clean, let your works be seen, and give thanks and praise to the Most High. Ja! Rastafari. Justified by works, says uh, uh, Rastafari, and I come to the Christians. Mufundisi, uh, who's going to take this one? Pastor Ladora? Okay. All right. Um, indeed, Jesus is coming. We are waiting for his second coming. Um, we as Christians, we believe in the Bible. It's unfortunate that some of us take part of the Bible mm -hmm. and live the, and believe and live out the other part. Mm -hmm. But we believe in the whole Bible. I personally believe in the whole Bible. And um, God has given free will. Mm -hmm. That is why you'll find that in as much as someone is told not to do something, they'll still go ahead and not do it. Not because they don't know. They've heard it. They've been told. But it's their choice to choose what they want. So... Christianity, we believe in one God. We believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And we believe that people are given free will. It is up to you to obey. It is up to you to believe. It is up to you to choose the way of life you want to do. That's Faith on Trial today. And I think, um, you can, you can uh, since my amour of Aviriga, yeah. you, you can have another bite of the cherry. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I think... Uh, just to close this out, uh, I, I would say the second coming of Christ is what we are anticipating. Mm -hmm. And um, we believe he has come, and we believe he is coming yet again. And when he comes for the second time, he will then take us all um, to be with the Father. Um, in, in conclusion, we may seem as if we serve one God, but it's clear that through the way we serve him, the God that we do serve is a different God. And um, by the way that we serve him, uh, my concluding remarks would be this. If you are in a household and you don't do according to the precepts of that household, you will lose favor with the father of the house. I want to believe that in Christian faith, we have a father, we have a God, and we follow the precepts that he has set for us. And we do believe that those who don't believe in Jesus Christ no matter how good the religion is, no matter how good the person is, that person falls out from the grace of our Father, the Father 
the Heavenly Father. Thank you so much. Uh, so that is uh, Faith on Trial, and I will continue the conversation in the group, and I'm sure we'll have this man back in the studio for different things, and uh, we'll talk about many different angles as well. Very, very happy to uh, have them in the studio, and uh, we feel uh, very lucky uh, to uh, get um, Sheikh uh, Ishmali A. Dua in the studio because we know that he's a busy man. Thank you for taking time out. Thank you very much. I say salam alaikum again, Idi Mubarak. Let's we do good things on earth. Praying is not only uh, Kungo Suram Church, but let's we go on the land and save the people. And also many thanks uh, to Rasta Shilo Binyamin Shimon, uh, who is Rasta Farai. And uh, many thanks uh, also to Babana Mai Chigwenemba from Zayoja Forward in Faith, Greendale. And uh, our quiz question of the day was, who is the woman in the Quran uh, who is mentioned uh, by name, who is the only woman mentioned in the Quran. Uh, so that is Mary, the mother of Jesus, is amongst the most important women in uh, the Quran. However, she is the only one identified by name. Uh, she is described as one of the greatest women of all time in uh, the uh, Quran as well. And uh, our song of uh, the day is uh, from Marilyn Mlilo in the city of Kings and Queens. Uh, she has requested via the group, and I think you might want to be part of the group, for you to be able to be part of the show as well. Uh, the song is Victory Is My Name by Sinaj. That's Faith on Trial. See you next time. This is Faith on Trial on Star FM. Exploring matters of faith and issues within the church.